Hey guys, and welcome to part four of this UnityCookie.com tutorial. In this part, we're going to look at adding in a normal map. Now, our shader is looking pretty cool. It's We've got our diffuse on there, but how about getting some normal mapping? This will allow us to get some cool bumps in the shader, and it'll get us that extra added level of detail. Now, to use normal maps in shaders, we need to use the unpack normal function. So let's go ahead and add this to the shader. So first off, I'm going to grab lesson three. I'm going to press control D to duplicate that. Unity will automatically name that lesson four. First thing I want to do is rename this to bumped to fuse. Because that's what we are going to be creating. I'm also going to remove that darkness value I did that as an example, it's not something that we are going to be looking into. We'll be going into that kind of stuff later, but it's not what we want on our shader at the moment. We'll keep it as simple as possible. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is we want to add in a new property. Now you could copy and paste this, but it's good practice to type this out each time. So let's write in bump text. This one here, this is going to be called normal map 2d and equals bump and now bump will tell it to, to to expect a bump map so if we don't have anything in there it's not going to displace the mesh also if we place an image in there that doesn't think is a bump map it will give the option to make it a bump map Okay, so what else do we need? So what we can do is we can come down here and we can write float to UV bump text. So we're going to basically go the same UVs and we're going to assign it to bump text as well. Now note that this isn't required. You can simply use this one, which I'll show you in a second. But uh, this is what you'll see in a lot of in a lot of shaders. They'll use bump text as well as main text for the UVs. It's not particularly efficient, but it's there. Okay, so now that we've got it in there, what we need to do is we need to sample it as we did before. So sample two D bump text. Now we need to come down underneath our albedo and we're going to write o.normal equals unpack normal. So this is going to unpack the normal, so it's going to grab the you know the normal the vector normals from the surface of our normal map and assign them to our model. So effectively unpacking the normals and making them actually bump out the surface. Okay, so this one here is going to be inside here. We're going to write text 2D and just the same as before. Write in bump text. in dot uv b underscore bump text and make sure you finish on a semicolon and that's literally it so we've unpacked those normals and we've done an image the same way that we've done up here except we don't need the dot rgb so we're not grabbing the color values we are unpacking the normals so let's save that, and we're going to jump into Unity and see how that worked. Okay, so no errors, which is always good. And if we grab the robot body, and I'm just going to make my console a little smaller. Unity cookie, bump diffuse. Now it's already brought in our normal map. 
If it hasn't, just simply drag and drop it over from the textures folder. And in here, you can see we have some nice looking normals. So it's a little bit hard to see at the moment, but what I have in here is I have a directional light. It's just bring that back. All right, it's kind of gone out of view, so I'm just going to uh, clear out the transforms of this. And it's going to bring it back to where we can work with it a little. Okay. So now that we've got that in view, we can rotate around and you can kind of see how the light is reacting, especially in these little indents in there. So if we grab our robot body and we give it a the simple basic diffuse or diffuse texture that we had before, you can see it's all flat and uninteresting. But if we go to Thump Diffuse, hey, look at that. We've got some cool bits of detail in there. And that is awesome. Okay, so let's move that back there. And that is literally it for using normal maps. So if you have any questions about how that works if this is if that's a little too confusing if it seems too easy feel free to uh, leave a comment below and i'll do my best to get back to you